Hey everyone, this is Advait here and welcome to another video and in this video I will teach you how to achieve or how to get this effect in Tailwind CSS. This is a very popular underline effect which is animated and you must have seen this effect in many you know maybe portfolio websites or blogs where you hover over a word and it gets underlined like this so this is a very simple effect so first i will just do a basic setup i will make a div i will color this div black and make it to the size of screen okay now I will make a paragraph element and make its text white. Now in your case it can be any colors but for just demonstration I will make the styles as I want. Um, I will make this text larger. Let's type learning blockchain made simple. I will align this text to the center and okay now the text is properly in the center and i want this effect to be applied on the word simple so what you should do is wrap the simple or any word where you want to apply the effect with a span element okay Hmm. So I will apply a class which we will make in the CSS file. Um, let's name it underline animation. Okay. I will copy this name. Go to the CSS file. In your case, if you are using React or something. It should be the index.css where all these uh, directives of Tailwind will be seen on the first three lines. But now let's make a layer on components. Under this layer, we will create a style. the underlying animation now um, for the class we'll make the positioning relative and we will need to use the pseudo element after and here we are going to apply all the styles we need so so now the main class should have the relative positioning the reason is because uh, wait hmm. so the reason is because whenever we are uh, going to show the underline it should come below the text so in our case it's the simple word it should come below this right so we need to make the html flow such that uh, the word should be kept alone above and we will make the positioning of this after pseudo element absolute so that we can push it below the text okay so absolute and content it should be blank so an empty string 
then width should be full 100% and the height I will choose 2 then the background color I will choose cyan 400 and wait I will add the positioning so it should be left 0 then bottom minus 4 pixel now initially okay i don't know why my internet is i think slow so it's now above and now yeah it's it went below the simple word now we want to apply the animation on hover so initially we will uh, scale this from the x-axis to zero and on hover this should be 100 okay so now if i hover over this wait the inter okay see like whenever i am hovering this it scales up to 100 now uh, whenever we are scaling this let me apply the transition first transition transform since this is scaling up whenever we are hovering over the element and the duration i will choose 300 milliseconds so see now it scales from the middle what i want is it should scale from the left when when i am hovering and it should end uh, to the right it should scale up from the left and when i am hovering out it should scale out to the right so before this transition i will put origin 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 bottom right now this is after i am hovering out but when i am hovering in it the origin should be bottom left okay now see uh, okay see now it is animated like how we wanted and that's it very simple effect now i will share this playground uh, link in the description if you want to check it and yeah i have one done here with all the text styling i have added a font this is i think radio canada big and i have applied a few more styles like a little bit of gradient and it looks amazing it's just the same but yeah this is it this is the effect and if this video was helpful share this with your friends and yeah that's it thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video